Today, we're diving into the latest developments with Sophie's stock and exploring the key reasons behind its recent performance. I'll break down what drove the stock higher today and cover all the important details you need to know. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Daily Stock Update. If you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications by hitting the bell so you never miss any of our uploads and also enter our giveaway. But before that, Alert, this is not a financial advice video. Sophie's stock closed up by 3.75% today, which is a significant increase. The stock managed to break through the $7.50 resistance level, which is noteworthy. The rise in Sophie's stock wasn't triggered by any specific news related to the company itself, but rather by broader economic factors. Currently, there's a 49% chance that the Federal Reserve will cut interest rates by 50 basis points in their upcoming meeting on September 18. This probability has jumped from 14% just yesterday, following the release of new economic data. It seems that the anticipated rate cut might happen sooner than analysts had expected. Additionally, there's also strong anticipation for another 50 basis point cut at the November 7th meeting. Analysts had initially predicted a 100 basis point cut in 2024, but it looks like this might come sooner. This change in expectations is one of the reasons why growth stocks like Sophie are seeing gains. Another important factor to consider is the Fear and Greed Index, which is currently at 49. This indicates a growing appetite for risk among investors. This increased risk tolerance is evident in the significant trading activity in the market particularly with transactions exceeding $100,000. We're seeing a lot of trading, including many transactions occurring after regular trading hours. This activity is likely linked to options trading. Market makers often adjust their positions after hours or before the market opens. Given Sophie's closing price above $7.50, a significant number of options at this level and lower are now in the money. Today, short sellers returned 371,000 shares, which suggests they might be conceding. Short interest now represents 18.57% of Sophie's free float, or about 194.35 million shares. The average cost to borrow has increased slightly to 0.92, and utilization stands at 50.68%. This indicates that short sellers are starting to retreat. Historically, short sellers try to manipulate stock prices to approach strike prices, but it seems they struggled to push Sophie's price down to $6.50. Sophie closed at $7.74 today, trading between the R1 and R2 resistance levels. Looking ahead, the key support level to watch is $7.67, while $7.90 will be the next significant resistance point. The stock is showing strong momentum, and technical indicators suggest it could be ready for a breakout. Sophie recently moved above its 200-day moving average and is positioned in the upper range of the Bollinger Bands. Generally, two consecutive trading days above the 200-day moving average can signal the beginning of a new trend. So, Sophie's recent performance might suggest an upcoming upward move. According to the Elliott Wave indicators, $7.72 is a critical pivot point. As long as Sophie remains above this level, it is expected to reach the mid to high $8 range. There haven't been new analyst ratings since Seaport Global initiated coverage with a 61% success rate yesterday. This could have an impact on future price movements. The stochastic indicator shows a bullish deviation, with the white line crossing above the red line at a neutral 45. This suggests that Sophie is neither overbought nor oversold. The stock's volatility, moving from around $6.70 to its current level in just a week, highlights its unpredictable nature. For those interested in options trading, volatile stocks like Sophie can offer significant opportunities. If you're not familiar with options, I recommend spending some time learning about them. They can be a valuable tool for both bullish and bearish strategies. Retail investors have been showing signs of exiting their positions early, as indicated by the momentum indicators. However, the overall data suggests that Sophie might be set for another potential rise. I'd love to hear your thoughts on Sophie. Are you buying, selling, or holding? Friends, that's all we have for you today. What is your opinion about today's video? Get involved and let us know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching.